Hey Focaroonies! Today we're going to be looking at a couple of Star Wars Sideshow collectibles that I purchased uh, while I was playing some silly waste of time gig in Hong Kong. Uh, I picked these up at a Sideshow shop where you could basically find these toys and the detail of each and every one of them is outstanding. The detail on the front of R2-D2, for example, is so fine that you can actually see the grime in between the grooves. Let me show you with a super macro shot. Uh, it either is painted on or I've just been showing him off in too many public toilets. Ah, now here's a really great little feature of this R2 unit. If I press this button, oh, we can see that it lights up. How cool is that? Now. Uh, as for dexterity, let me see if I can get my arms in here without... Uh, yes, we can move this arm here, which is nice. And we can also adjust this bit here. So what you'll notice actually is that the bottom of these things actually do have rollers on them. The head actually rotates quite nicely as well. Let me pop these little lights on again. <laughs> Oops. Oof. Just cracked his neck. Sorry about that, buddy. Uh, no, not really. But yes, you can see that his head turns quite nicely. Oh shit, there's lights on the back here too. Well, like I said, guys, whoever made these things have really outdone themselves. Of course, what I'm supposed to do with this toy, I'm really not sure. Oh, now, can you guess who this is? If you can't, you probably need to see a doctor. That's right, it's C-3PO, or gay 3PO, as some folks know him better. Now, apparently, I can flick a switch on the back of his head. Let's see if I can do so without causing him to fall over. Oh, no. Okay, I guess he doesn't have any batteries in him. Ah, uh, batteries. Since when does C-3PO need batteries? What kind of bullshit replica do you call that? C-3PO's hands are indeed poseable. Let me have a look here. Yep, his hands are poseable. You can twist them. Isn't that lovely? You can bend them, you can twist them. Oh, is he gonna fall over? No, he's all good. Now, the only thing that I can critique about this thing is that these cables in his abdomen seem to be painted on. Now, seeing as R2-D2 has cables on him, it just seems like C-3PO is just dying for the same treatment when you consider the quality of the rest of him. But, you know what, even with the painted on cables, I have to say, this really is a cracking scale replica of C-3PO. All the details are there, including the silver foot. What I really like about these collectibles is the way that they've kind of worked the battery compartments into the design. For example, C-3PO's little pack on the back here is where you unscrew a panel to put in the batteries. Now, mm, it is kind of annoying that you have to actually unscrew something. You would think that just chucking that on there would provide sufficient disguise, but I guess not. But still, that's a perfect disguise for a battery compartment. And if you do manage to get some batteries in there, uh, you can get his eyes to light up, and I understand that does look pretty impressive. Hmm. 